meeting of the Lord. Forty days after Christ was born he was presented to God in the Jerusalem temple according to the Mosaic law. At this time as well his mother Mary underwent the ritual purification and offered the sacrifices as prescribed in the law. Thus, forty days after Christmas, on the 2nd of February, the church celebrates the feast of the presentation called the meeting, or presentation or reception, of the Lord. The meeting of Christ by the elder Simeon and the prophetess Anna, Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 36, is the main event of the feast of Christ's presentation in the temple. It was revealed to Simeon by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ, Luke chapter 2 verse 26, and, inspired by the same Spirit, he came to the temple where he met the newborn Messiah, took him in his arms and said the words which are now chanted each evening at the end of the Orthodox Vespers service. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to thy people Israel. Luke chapter 2 verses 29 to 32. At this time as well Simeon predicted that Jesus would be the sign which is spoken against, and that he would cause the fall and the rising of many in Israel. He also foretold Mary's sufferings because of her son, Luke chapter 22 verses 34 to 35. Anna also was present and, giving thanks to God, she spoke of Jesus to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem, Luke chapter 2 verse 38. In the service of the feast of the meeting of the Lord, the fact emphasized is that Christ, the Son and Word of God through whom the world was created, now is held as an infant in Simeon's hands, this same Son of God, the giver of the law, now himself fulfills the law, carried in arms as a human child. Receive him, O Simeon, whom Moses on Mount Sinai beheld in the darkness as the giver of the law. Receive him as a babe now obeying the law. For he it is of whom the law and the prophets have spoken, incarnate for our sake and saving mankind. Come let us adore him. Let the door of heaven open today, for the eternal word of the Father, without giving up his divinity, has been incarnate of the Virgin in time. And as a babe of forty days he is voluntarily brought by his mother to the temple, according to the law. And the elder Simeon takes him in his arms and cries out, Lord now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, O Lord, who has come to save the human race. Glory to thee. Vespers Verses of the Feast the Vespers and Matins of the Feast of the Meeting of the Lord are filled with hymns on this theme. The Divine Liturgy is celebrated with the lines from the Canticle of Mary forming the Prokimenon and the words of Simeon being the verses for the Alleluia. The Gospel readings tell of the meeting, while the Old Testament readings at Vespers refer to the law of the purification in Leviticus, the vision of Isaiah in the Temple of the Thrice Holy Lord, and the gift of faith to the Egyptians prophesied by Isaiah when the light of the Lord shall be a revelation to the Gentiles, Luke chapter 2 verse 32. The celebration of the meeting of the Lord in the church is not merely a historical commemoration. Inspired by the same Holy Spirit as Simeon, and led by the same Spirit into the church of the Messiah, the members of the church also can claim their own meeting with the Lord, and so also can witness that they too can depart in peace, since their eyes have seen the salvation of God in the person of his Christ. Rejoice, O virgin Theotokos, full of grace. From you shone the Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, enlightening those who sat in darkness. Rejoice and be glad, O righteous Elder. You accepted in your arms the Redeemer of our souls who grants us the resurrection, Troparion by thy nativity, thou didst sanctify the virgin's womb, and didst bless Simeon's hands, O Christ our God. Now thou hast come and saved us through love. Grant peace to all Orthodox Christians, O only lover of man, Contachion. It is customary in many churches to bless candles on the feast of the meeting of the Lord. If you enjoyed this talk, consider subscribing to this channel and click on the notification bell, then you will know when new content is added to this playlist. Thank you for listening, and have a blessed day.